Reconstruction was a failed effort to peacefully transition from the Civil War and reincorporate the American South into the Union after the Confederacy's treasonous secession and rebellion. Throughout the history of the United States, the events of the era of Reconstruction following the American Civil War have been periodically reinterpreted by historians and filmmakers. This project analyzes the evolution of historical and cinematic interpretations of Reconstruction with an ultimate goal of demonstrating how cinematic interpretation of Reconstruction, once comparable to historical interpretation, was maligned by the massive popularity of films such as the 1915 film The Birth of a Nation and the 1939 film Gone with the Wind. It was only recently that Reconstruction's cinematic interpretation caught up to the progress Reconstruction's historical interpretation made in recent decades with the 2016 film Free State of Jones. This project does not challenge modern historiography, rather it places a spotlight on often overlooked aspects of United States cinema and history. In the 1890s and early 1900s, Historian William Dunning spearheaded what is now known as the Dunning School Interpretation of Reconstruction. Along with his contemporaries, including John W. Burgess, Walter Linoid Fleming, and James Wolford Gunner, Dunning emphasized a racist depiction of African Americans, claiming that, through the corrupt Union government, they were granted rights, unjustly taken away from the superior whites. Claude Bauer's popular 1929 history of Reconstruction, The Tragic Era, reinforced the Dunning School, while emphasizing the political corruption of the American government following the Civil War. A challenge to the Dunning School would not be seriously considered by the historical community until Eric Foner's and Leon F. Litwack's work in the late 1970s and early 1980s. The commonality between Du Bois, Franklin's, and Foner's evolved interpretations, which are still largely accepted today, was evidence that shed new light on the suffering of African American freedmen during Reconstruction, while revealing the falsehood of previous claims about the widespread suffering of wealthy Southern whites. In 1915, The Birth of a Nation embodied the Dunning School interpretation of Reconstruction. The film portrays Thaddeus Stevens and his fellow radical Republicans as the vindictive creators of Reconstruction, African Americans and the Freedmen's Bureau as the enforcers of a cruel new reality in the South, and white plantation owners as the victims of Reconstruction for having to free their slaves and entertain the notion of equality between the races. In a sense, the notion of equality itself is the natural villain of the film. The Ku Klux Klan, the defining feature of the birth of a nation, are portrayed as heroes rather than terrorists, and this blatant hagiographic depiction of the Klan helped to inspire the second incarnation of the Klan in the 20th century. The birth of a nation was immensely popular and helped introduce the American public to the Dunning School through what the film calls a historical presentation of Reconstruction. However, there was noticeable backlash from African American communities. Because of this, it is not surprising that the next major film to portray Reconstruction was more subtle in its racial messaging.